hi guys hope everyone doing fine and uh, let us move on to the training session uh, semi voice training session so you know the process is very easy where uh, you can just click the button and it will play the automated voice and customer will reply to you who is from Canada and you are just going to press back the button again which is relevant to their answers okay so I will show you how the software is first so you can see I have zoomed in for you so you can see the software here like you know you can see greeting one greeting two likewise uh, the total number of prompts might be more than 100 but you are not going to use that much of prompts nearly 20 to 22 prompts you might be using like you know blue color prompts are compulsory but even in blue color prompts we are just going to use only one blue color button in the first row like in greeting one two three four we are just going to use greeting one in our process let us hear first what is there inside hi this is jenny from canadian telecom service how are you doing today it's saying like hi this is jenny from canadian telecom service how are you doing today it is like greeting the customer initially when we speak with someone we will greet greet right so we are greeting the customer so you know they will say i'm good i'm bad i'm sick not interested i'm busy uh go ahead or oh, what is this about like this they will give you any kind of answer but we have acknowledgements uh to answer the customer okay so let us see one by one so let me quickly move on to the pdf before we uh, start practicing in this so now you can see here um inborn process so guys you know people who are new to this process uh, you should know the basic of call center right uh like you know inborn process means like customer they themselves will call us and we will be answering to their queries or we will short out their technical issues so that is how inborn process functions like you know when the customer calls the telecalling agent or the agent you know that is called as inbound when the call is coming to you and you are attending the call okay that is inbound call basically okay and uh, the second one is outbound outbound is like you know like uh, people we are doing telemarketing like for selling or giving any uh, solution to the customer any uh, any products or service okay we are calling the customer and they will be attending the call in this way if it is happening that is outbound calls okay and semi voice what is this semi voice it is uh, voice from the customer the customer they will speak uh, through their voice through their mouth they will speak what is the balance part how we interact to the customer we are just going to click the buttons you have seen in this software right we are just going to click the button and they will hear it okay jenny my, my name, name is jenny. jenny fine so likewise we are just going to interact with the customer by clicking the buttons for their questions fine so now semi voices like by clicking some prompts or buttons uh, with the pre-recorded voice it will play the automated voice and customer can hear it and they will reply to it okay so in the in this way it, it happens whatever inbound or outbound or semi voice whatever we have to acknowledge the customer we have to acknowledge we have to respond to the customer to build up some rapport uh, you know to build some good communication good interaction with the customer you know uh, giving free installation to the customer or uh, giving low price to the customer you know these are all the secondary point points but the primary thing is we have to interact with the customer by responding to them properly using acknowledgement prompts that is very important whether it is outbound or inbound or semi voice or voice whatever it may be for example you can see here so how important the acknowledgement is so you can see here good good you yes okay okay it is like you know okay is uh, responding to them like okay it is like accepting 
this okay is okay we are asking some question sorry uh, is that okay for you likewise fine like uh, we can see this acknowledgement from sundar later but you can see like you know 1 2 3 4 5 nearly 25 acknowledgement prompts are there for this process we have used this these acknowledgements okay fine let me click something for you i understand if the customer is saying something but you couldn't hear it properly okay so you can tell them say that again please fine so you know if the customer is not responding to you uh, you know you can say these two you can click these two buttons like can, can, you, can you hear me can you hear me am i audible fine so you know guys if you are getting echo in the training session don't worry you know uh, the software which is going to be installed in your uh, center or work from home wherever uh that will be the real software this is a dummy link which we are using for training okay fine let us move on to the pdf again fine so next one is data entry process like you know we are going just going to type it type something or copying and pasting okay other than voice and semi voice whatever we do on keying uh, on typing something okay or even just copying and pasting these are all like uh, data entry work we otherwise call it as non voice fine so this is the basic thing we have seen about inbound outbound semi voice non voice uh, now we are just going to move on to the next level fine let us see like you know all these process are designed to achieve either of the following outputs let us see what is the uh, thing that we are going to achieve through these processes customer support fine so customer support means like you know uh, giving support to the customer in a way like through the call or door to door service so many ways are there but still we are just going to concentrate about telecalling right so we are doing call center business so what we are going to do we are going to call to the customer or customer will call us and we are going to give solution for that that can be technical or non technical it can be of sales or giving service okay the same thing which we are which you are seeing on the pdf that is what i'm speaking about so the next one the third point is survey we can take surveys also like about you know product service lifestyle we have mentioned here so uh, you know taking survey means like you know people who are Uh, less than 70 years age okay that means like if there is a insurance company what they will do you know people who are less than uh, 70 years of age only for those people uh, this insurance can be given so uh, calling to the customer asking the, uh, their age and categorizing the data according to their age okay and then the next team will call to the customer who are under 70 years of age and over 18 years of age only for those people the next level team they will call and they will speak about the insurance uh, process but the survey will be taken that would be taken for uh, knowing the age of the customer alone okay so that this is a kind of example i have given there are so many kind of surveys okay fine lead generation what is lead generation what we are going to do in semi voice process that is also a lead generation process so before making a sale creating a lead creating a thing that is needed for the next level okay a base thing we are creating that is what we are going to just fix an appointment for the next call okay fine so lead generation calling the customer and passing the potential and interested customer to the sales team to send something useful to the sales team okay uh, what is that something that is the an appointment which we are going to fix in this process that is we otherwise call it as lead generation fine so the next one process introduction so this is an international outbound semi voice canadian lead generation process where below mentioned skills will be required to work in this process guys listen to this carefully if you don't have these skills you have to develop skills on this area okay you got selected in this concern and uh, you know you are just going to work work for this concern if you don't have these skills okay definitely you have to develop or concentrate uh, your skills on these four uh, points okay 
this area it is fine so basic understanding of english language because you know we are going to speak with canadian customers it is native language for them it is mother tongue for them so we should understand english okay only if you understand english you are uh, you know uh, your management they would have selected you but still if you face difficulty in understanding english listen to many videos in english in youtube and uh, have uh, you know have some time spend some time to listen so many videos which is in english and listen to it definitely you can uh, understand the things over a period of time fine so next one is listening skills active listening skills you know just hearing is not important you have to listen very carefully even a small small word a little uh, word might change the meaning of the total sentence uh so you have to listen to the customer very carefully and likewise i hope you are going to listen to the training session also very carefully okay uh, only then you can move on to the next stages right because you know after hearing the complete training session definitely there will be a quiz session where you have to answer uh the questions okay only if you are crossing that uh, quiz session you will be allowed to the next level of dialing fine uh, in the middle you will be having a mock call session like you know someone will be acting as a customer and you will be uh, clicking the buttons so that session will be there that is called as mock call session okay so after that only you are going to dial to the real customer fine uh, now computer knowledge computer knowledge you know nowadays uh, i guess like you know we cannot find people who does not uh, know computer um, you, you you know you can uh, you should know like you know uh basic skills like uh, you know knowing the powerpoint kind of things or you know you're not going to use the powerpoint uh, of course but still uh powerpoint pdf um uh, word document notepad uh, saving a document typing you know you don't need typing skills and all just uh, entering the customer's name typing the customer's name or copying that customer's name from the crm page to excel sheet so these kind of basic knowledge is more than enough okay and uh, the next one is hard working and self motivation okay it is not motivational it is self motivation okay fine um hard working yeah you know anything needs hard work to achieve something we need hard work you know you know in modern days we call you know we say like you know hard work or that is old and style do smart work okay fine i accept that but still initially when you enter a new field you know you need to you need to work little hard okay and self motivation self motivation is the best way of uh, you know uh, coming up uh, like you know you don't expect some people from your management to motivate or your parents or friends to motivate okay if they are busy they cannot do that okay but you are even if you are busy you will be busy for yourself right so be motivated uh, if anyone is doing you know if something is someone is saying a negative okay on you don't worry about that you just make it positive okay work hard uh, for making it positive okay self motivate yourself definitely that situation will change fine guys let us move on to the next one fine guys so now the software used to run this process is known as avatar process and guys you know you should know what is the, what is, you know avatar is a uh, technology which semi voice process uses okay uh, we are seeing these buttons right this is called as avatar prompts okay uh, doing these arrangements okay you know html codings are needed it is it is not like just like you know typing something and it will play the automated voice like, like you know uh google will google will play right it is not that kind of thing all these things colors arrangements okay all these things comes through html codings okay fine so the next one is um where it has some buttons which have pre recorded voice yeah so pre recorded voice already uh, the statements or answers or questions whatever that is needed for this process that are pre recorded and it is loaded in the prompts every prompt okay so basically the person who will be working for this process should be educated and trained 
in this avatar software okay you have to be trained through this avatar, avatar software otherwise you know just this pdf training material will not help you it is like a theoretical session and you know we might forget but if you are doing it practically definitely that will help you so that is what we how, that is how we are going to conduct our training session also so uh, like uh, which button or tab we call that as button or tab or prompts okay anything uh, you can name okay uh, to be pressed and when it has to be pressed so very important thing is like when it has to be pressed that is what the this pdf says for you okay uh, you know the content which is inside the prompt is secondary you know if you are clicking knowing or unknowingly it will play the same answer to the customer or it will ask the same question to the customer but you should know when it has to be pressed that is very very important guys okay fine that is what we are going to see in this powerpoint uh, sorry pdf in the later part fine all this has to be in such a way that customer on the other side of the call should feel like they are talking to a real talking to the real human being that means guys you know they should not find out an automated voices uh, interacting with them if you are using the acknowledgement prompts definitely you know they will think like you are a real human and uh, you are speaking to them okay so you should not give a chance to them to find out you know oh, okay my uh, my you know automated machine is speaking why should we speak with this we should not make them to feel in that way okay fine so uh, hence analyzing the real time situation is must uh, so you know that means like you have to click the prompts on time okay uh, you should not wait for one second after customer closes their mouth and you have to you know you should not drag the mouse oh where is that prompt you should know where is the prompt uh, when they are speaking itself okay for example customer is asking how are you okay a customer is asking how are you you have to click this button i am good. good thanks, thanks for, for asking. asking okay uh, immediately once the customer say asks you know how how are you you are searching oh my god good you button i know but where it is oh fine oh, yeah here it is you know when you are clicking this button they would have hung up the call because they will not be hearing anything from you okay so they will say hello or otherwise they will hang up the call okay you will lose the customer so to avoid that immediately you have to press the button that is very important customer is uh, telling how are you immediately you have to click i am good. good thanks, thanks for, for asking. asking fine so with no time we have to respond to the customer okay dragging the mouse straight to the prompt that is our time okay that is very important you are going to practice you will be having enough time to practice on these things no worries fine uh, so that the agent who is working uh, should press the prompt uh, sorry uh, should press the correct pr tab okay they have to click the correct tab uh, irrelevant prompts if you are clicking then the call is lost so you have to click the correct prompt at the right time okay with the right response to make the conversation real and make the call a successful lead call very simple guys you know you have to press it on time if you have to press it on time you should know where the prompt is so at the practice time you can uh, you should know uh, you know where the prompt is okay you can have uh, some uh, sessions like you know quiz sessions like you know uh, naming the prompt and uh, searching the prompt and answering and reducing the time to search for example uh, pitch c1 okay if someone is telling pitch c1 immediately we have to go to pitch c1 okay if someone is saying where is your store immediately you have to come to uh, where is your store if someone is saying mom or dad you have to go to uh, mom or dad here and the next one is uh, service a b c d here it is installation and shipping here it is good it is here okay so likewise uh, you should know the prompts where it is okay that is very important guys fine so let me move on to the pdf again so here we are entering deep into the process so um, let us read what is there let's look at the sample window major screen on which we will be working on yeah definitely so this was the screen uh, we are going to work with okay this is the complete screen which you are going to work okay 
so these from stop resume uh, these greeting buttons okay you know so if i'm clicking greeting one and suddenly if the customer is speaking if i want if i have to stop the button i can click stop button i will show you here so i'm just pressing greeting one hi this is jenny from, from canadian, canadian telecom, telecom service, service. If I, if I would like to stop, I can stop here. If I should resume this. How are you doing today? It will play the balance part. But you know, most probably we are not going to resume it. We are just going to stop it. And if the customer is asking um, a question or if they are interrupting you, you have to press stop button. Wherever it is, if the customer is speaking, you should not allow the prompt to continue till it stops. You have to stop it immediately and you have to listen to the customer what they are saying. And then you have to acknowledge the customer through these prompts. Okay, from good to this one. Okay, thank you. Uh, from good to thank you, you can use any uh, one of these 25 buttons you can use uh, to interact with the customer for acknowledgement. Okay, through the acknowledgement. Fine, guys. Sound, sounds interesting. That is also uh, like, you know, uh, giving a acknowledgement to the customer. Sounds, Sounds interesting, interesting right? right? Fine. So now, so this is the complete screen uh, which you are going to work right from greeting one to call closure. But don't worry, you are not going to click all these buttons in a single call. You are just going to work with blue color buttons. Only blue color buttons are, are compulsory buttons. Other prompts, if it is needed, when it is needed, you can choose those buttons to click. Otherwise, you don't need to click. Okay. For example, this is pitch A1. It says about television offer. Okay. Television DTH service offer. A1 and A2. These two are compulsory, but B1, B2, you don't need to click. But when a situation arises, like you know, A1 and A2 says about the first package of the television DTH service, but Customer is telling, I need more channels. I need more channel. That means you have to come for this one, B1 and B2. It says about the second package. Don't worry, we are just going to click all the buttons and we are just going to see what is there inside. And uh, I'm going to sh show you in this PDF when we have to click, what is the content inside. Okay, we are just going to see one by one. So now we have seen the complete prompt arrangements. Okay. So, uh, you know, this don't go to this YouTube. Uh, this might be the olden, uh, not olden, like old uh, training video, maybe. So, uh, let us do one thing. I will upload uh, this uh, recorded conversation on YouTube. You can make use of it. Fine. Okay, guys. Okay, guys, let us move on to the next step from here. Okay, uh, now watch the next slide carefully for a few minutes and take a note of all the tabs and observe the colors. Color coding. What we are going to do is color coding. Before entering into uh, what is greeting one, what is, uh, uh, you know, uh, the pricing of the uh, television offer or internet uh, speed or uh, what is the calls that can be done for Canada or US. Likewise, uh, we have to know, I know if we are uh, having the colors, all prompts, all hundred prompts are in blue colors. It is very confusing, right? That is why it has been designed in such a way where the uh, colors says uh, you know whether it is negative or whether it is uh, compulsory likewise okay if it is pink color prompt prompts that means it is attractive prompts okay if it is blue color that is compulsory if it is yellow color that is rebuttals okay so you know acknowledgements will be having different colors okay so like a red color okay if the customer is leaving uh, from us if they're saying something which is not uh, which we don't like you know i'm busy we don't like uh, if a customer is busy. We need their time, right? That is why we have called them, right? So, uh, you know, if it is a negative answer for us, immediately we have to uh, drag the mouse to red color area. Once we come here, you can, okay, busy, this button. 
not interested in this button likewise we can easily uh, find out fine guys so let us see the color coding now so tab color coding description fine so blue color so i said right compulsory tabs the button which has to be clicked which should be clicked which must be clicked that is blue color you cannot skip blue color buttons okay there will be two cases where you will be choosing one blue color button in the total uh, process in the total prompt arrangements i will tell you that also now so you can see so many blue color buttons nearly 20 to 22 buttons will be there so here greeting one greeting two greeting three greeting four four buttons are there okay let me click this button hi this is jenny from canadian telecom service how are you doing today okay it is saying like it is calling from canadian telecom service how are you doing today here hi this is jenny from shaw direct dth service how are you doing today so it is saying the company name also here hi this is jenny from zflex home phone service how are you doing today fine uh greeting three is home phone and greeting two is dth service and greeting four is hi this is jenny from zflex internet service how are you doing today fine we are going to dial for all the three services in a single call to make appointments appointment with a single customer for three services that means uh, you cannot dial greeting one you cannot click greeting four uh, because uh, it says only about internet connection and greeting three says about only home phone connection that is landline connection and greeting two about dth service only television related but greeting one is a common point where it will speak about all three services or otherwise it will say a plain statement which will not mention anything that means you can choose television alone if you want or otherwise you can speak about internet alone if you want or otherwise you can speak about all three services based on the customer hi this is jenny from canadian telecom service how are you doing today fine so now greeting one is the prompt which we are going to start with okay once call is connected you will get a beep tone on your headphones and you can see a live call notification on your screen there once you see the live call notification or beep tone anything which receives uh, which you notify uh, you know immediately you have to click this greeting one okay fine forget about greeting two greeting three greeting four you don't need to click any of these three buttons only greeting one you are just going to click in every call fine now you know greeting uh, that is greeting one two three four only greeting one we are going to click okay likewise we have one more uh, prompt here one more button here so accepted verification inquiry okay these are all the uh, last prompts uh, you know final stage of prompts which we are going to click to fix an appointment okay accepted and verification these two are for clicking appointments okay if they if it is appointment but if you are clicking inquiry that means if there is no answer in this prompt you can go for inquiry button okay but to click inquiry button you should have completed uh, the buttons up to pitch a2 after a2 the customer should accept whatever you are saying they should acknowledge positively then only you are qualified to click or the customer is qualified to click inquiry button okay inquiry is nothing but you know our next department will call you to resolve your queries that is what okay and verification accepted these two buttons are there right accepted button is like customer who are uh, really interested they're they're thinking wow this offer sounds good i'm interested in this offer uh, how can i book this offer i'm already paying too much for my current service provider i would like to switch to this service provider if they're showing showing their excitement you can go for accepted button okay where the next level team they will take care accepted if you are clicking that recordings that appointments will go to a team uh, they will take care of it when you are clicking verification the customer is telling uh, okay i am okay with this uh, plainly they are answering they are not showing their excitement they are not showing their interest 
but they are telling whatever you are telling they are saying okay okay fine plainly they are acknowledging that means you have to put that customer on verification okay uh, this verification clicked appointment will be going to the next level team uh, that is a different team okay accepted uh, appointments will be going to a different team and verification it will go to a different team both are different kind of expert people they are working and inquiry inquiry as i said only after a2 after clicking a2 then only it qualifies okay this uh, inquiry button is qualified to click and here also if you are clicking inquiry and dragging the customer to the prompts again and you are dragging the customer to the end then you can click any one of these prompts okay but if you are clicking accepted only accepted is has to be clicked and if you are clicking verification you have to click only verification any one of these two buttons okay uh, in every call it is not uh, necessary to click inquiry you, you you are not going to click inquiry in every call okay rarely it will happen uh, all other answers will be there in this prompts fine so here also in this row most probably you will be clicking accepted or verification or inquiry sometimes very rarely clicking inquiry then you will drag the customer to the process and then you will you will come back to accepted or verification based on the customer if they are interested you will be clicking accepted if they are uh, okay with the process uh, they, you know you you are go, just going to click verification alone let me click the prompts for you if you are interested our supervisor will call you within 24 hours to discuss this further would that be okay so within 24 hours the next department will call that is what it is saying uh, to the customer who are interested that is accepted okay so verification our, our verification, verification team will, will call, call you within 24 hours, hours. They, they will verify the price and package once again and, and they will guide you further for booking the package, package. all right and the next one is inquiry you, you will get, get a call from our promotional, promotional department, department for further details are you okay with, with that, that? fine guys so now uh, we were speaking about the color coding right so why don't we complete the color coding things all other things uh, all other prompts uh, colors that won't be having this kind of conditions like blue color you know only in blue color uh, we have to concentrate the last row only one button and the first row in greeting one two three four only one button that is greeting one okay only greeting one you have to click you have to neglect all these three buttons fine so now orange tabs orange tabs to be used only when required as per the real time situation during the call fine guys so you know orange color buttons uh, you know uh, uh, for example uh, you can see here hello name dth uh, home phone or internet shall i proceed you know these prompts whenever it is needed we are just going to use but once you click greeting one the prompts below that is orange color prompts that might be needed for you okay it is 50 50 percentage chance if the customer is saying some statement if it is needed you are going to click or otherwise you are just going to skip those orange color buttons and you are just going to come here after clicking acknowledgement you are just going to come here for pitch a1 okay but uh, see here 90 channel package 190 channel package so these prompts you are clicking pitch a1 pitch a2 it says about uh, how many channels it is there inside okay in the in the package so uh, if the customer is asking how many channels you will be clicking this one more, more than, than 90, 90 channels. channels more, more than, than 190, 190 channels. channels okay only if the customer is asking you will be clicking these buttons okay if the customer is asking uh, telling you i already got a good offer i already got a call Okay, if the customer is uh, telling I'm, I already got a uh, sorry I already got a good offer, you can click this button. That's fine. Here we have a better offer with us too. So could you spend two minutes of your valuable time? This will definitely save your hard-earned money. All right. Well, we're just get, getting permission with the customer. Like you know, we are also having good offer. So why don't you spend some time with us? and uh, if the customer is uh, telling i i have got a call already they might be getting calls from different kind of marketing uh, different kind of marketing people like you know selling some other services uh, selling some other products from some other company not only telecommunication so many things happens through telecalling only right in uh, uh, canada us and all 
You would have got a call from my customer care department, but we are calling from the promotional department only for the selected customers. Okay? Fine. We are promotional department. We are not customer care department who is sitting in Canada. We are promotional departments who are giving new offers uh, for new customers, not for the existing customers. Okay. So we are called as promotional department, not customer care department. Okay. Maybe if they would have got a call very, very rarely, if they would have got a call from the customer care department from Canada, you know, that might be for upgrading the service if people, they are already using ShawDirect or ZFlix. But we are just going to dial for the customer who are not using ShawDirect or ZFlix. That kind of data only we are going to dial. Okay. So we are telling the customer boldly, we are calling from promotional department. Maybe you would have got a call from our customer, customer care department. Okay. So uh, we are calling with the latest offers. Okay. So we have to communicate something to the customer to hold the customer, right? So that is what. So likewise, you can see orange color buttons. So, you know, if we are clicking service A or B, C, D, A, B, C, D, you know, here also, like, you know, this or these orange color buttons, only if it is needed, we are going to click. And it is related to these four prompts. These two orange color buttons, don't you know? Uh, why do you want to know? Okay. Uh, these two buttons can be clicked only when we click service related buttons. Okay. And uh, in service also, service A or B, it speaks about uh, who is your current service provider for your television. Okay. And this says about service C says about asks about like who is your current service provider for your home phone and service D asks about internet. Okay. What is the current service provider the customer is using? Okay. That is what it will ask. Uh, here, this will ask a single question where the customer, whether they are using, uh, know, what service provider they are using for their internet, uh, internet, home phone and uh, television. Okay. A single question. So if you're clicking this one, you can avoid all these three buttons. Okay. Or if you're clicking uh, this service A or B, you have to click service C, service D one by one after getting the answer from the customer. And it is not compulsory. You have to click continuously service A or B, getting the answer from the customer. Again, immediately you have to click service C. It is not so. You can dry, you know, you can click some other prompts and then you can come back to uh, service C. Then you can uh, click some other prompts which is needed to the customer. Uh, then you can come back to service D also. Okay. Let me click it for you here. May I know who is your current, your current service, service provider, provider for your, for your television? Your television? Can, you Can you please tell me who is your current, current service, service provider, provider for your home phone? Can, Can you tell me who is your current service, service provider, provider for your internet? internet? You know, these three prompts, uh, it is asking for the single service provider uh, uh, with whom they are using. May I know who is your current, is your current service, service provider, provider for your, for your television, television, home phone, and internet? So television, home phone, and internet, all these three services, you know, if the customer is talkative, they are responding to whatever you are uh, speaking. Uh, I mean, when you're clicking the prompt, they are responding properly to you. To those kind of customers, you can use service A, B, C, D. And customer uh, who are hesitating to answer, you can ask the questions. You can shoot out the question one by one. Okay, be very careful in that thing. Okay. Fine. So now let us move on to the PDF again. So now we are going to see red color prompts. Red color, negative answer tabs. Okay. Uh, to be used only when the customer gets not interested and makes excuses. That means like customer trying to uh, escape from the call. Uh, they don't want to speak with you. They don't have time. They are in a hurry. Okay. So those kind of customer, okay, people who are not interested, we should not leave them, right? You know, every customer, once we pick up the call, not interested. I know you are making some effort to speak with the customer. Why should you leave the customer? Why don't you ask a question? If the customer is saying not interested. I'm just trying to save your hard-earned money. So could you spend two minutes of your valuable time? Definitely, uh, you know, some sort of customers, nearly 50% of the customer will stay with you uh, when you're telling like, you know, uh, I'm just trying to save your hard and money. Okay. So why don't you spend just two minutes of your valuable time? Okay. That means they understand like you are valuing their time and uh, this call is going to save their money. You're just informing them. Okay. Even after that, uh, saying this, if the customer is hanging up the call, don't worry. Move on to the next call. Okay. But this is the chance. 
uh, we can pull the customer to our, towards our side uh, telling that we are just going to save their money we are not just going to uh, you know take the money out of their pocket our motive is to give such uh, such a wonderful offer to the customer uh, where they can save their monthly bills on their television dth channel service internet and landline service okay landline we they call it as home phone okay fine so only these are all red color buttons we are just going to use in this uh, process we are going to see one by one uh, relating the prompts uh, now we are seeing color is right so let us move on to this green color green acknowledgement tabs used to respond to the customer respond the customer as per the real time situation as basic call ethic and to make it real fine customers they will be speaking they might not be acknowledging you they might not be responding to you but it is your duty to respond to the customer that is very very important okay you cannot skip acknowledgement you know in olden days there was there is there was a you know um, a way like you know letters uh, you know maybe our uh, grandfathers they, they would have written a letter uh and uh, if it is very important letter uh, whether they should know uh, whether that letter has reached them you know just like in whatsapp uh, we have single tick that means their data is off we have a double tick it has uh, you know their data is on they have received it and when it is blue tick oh we we find out okay they have seen the uh, message okay it has reached and they have seen the message likewise in olden days in you know in postal department uh, the, you know while writing a letter itself there will be a acknowledgement card additionally pinned up in the same uh, postal card and what they what uh, the postman will do is they will deliver the letter and they will get the signature uh, from the additional card that is acknowledgement card and they will post it to us back okay and it will reach us so that means the postman has delivered the letter and then that acknowledgement has received that acknowledgement card also has received you know reached us that means okay we are satisfied okay the message has been uh, seen by the receiver okay when it is a very important letter uh, we used to uh, do that okay fine uh, the reason why i have said this is uh, we should know whether they have received it okay likewise the customer should know what they are telling you have received that okay you have understood whatever they are telling you have to make them understand that you have understood whatever they are telling that is very important only then the conversation will build up and you can fix up an appointment don't think like oh pink color prompts these are all two attractive prompts where the sales will increase uh, or the appointment we can fix more number of appoint appointments oh television offer first month service is free our oh, installation is free so you know customer will take the service don't think in such a way it is not going to help you that much but interacting with the customer is the only way you can drag the customer to the end and uh, you can fix an appointment it is uh, more than uh, it is more important than other prompts i mean acknowledgement prompt is more important than the other prompts so concentrate on acknowledgement uh, buttons every time you click some button immediately press suitable acknowledgement button okay it is very important if you don't use acknowledgement forget about the appointment okay i guess this statement is good i will repeat it again for you if you don't press acknowledgement forget about appointment okay fine guys so let us move on to pdf again so we have seen red color prompts blue color prompts color coding when we have to click blue color prompts are compulsory uh but we have uh, you know the first row we'll be clicking only greeting one okay only greeting one and in the last row if needed we will click enquiry and we will drag the customer again into the process and then we will come back to accepted or verification based on the customer if they are too much interested you will be clicking accepted and uh, if they are okay with the process you will be clicking verification button okay fine and uh, if you, if there is no chance of clicking enquiry you can directly go for accepted or verification when you are fixing an appointment after clicking all the uh, blue color prompts fine and red color prompts 
okay when the customer is trying to leave the call or otherwise uh, if someone is picking up the call like homeowner or if we have to speak with the spouse or my if the kid is taking a phone and if they are saying my no my dad is not in my house like this if the kid is speaking we have to click this button may, may i speak, speak to your mom or dad, dad please? please likewise okay fine so uh, next one is the orange color buttons like you know whenever it is needed after clicking the blue buttons if it is needed you can go for orange color buttons so the relevant orange color buttons uh, will be there near to the blue color buttons or uh, green also okay fine so let us move on to the next color coding after green uh, we can see this light uh, blue this is also light blue or sky blue whatever you want to call you can call it uh, aqua tabs okay fine so uh, empathy tabs like you know in acknowledgement uh, we uh, we have we are seeing one is acknowledgement from green color fine okay we have already seen this acknowledgement from green color good great uh, all right like these are green color buttons they are mentioning about and here the empathy tabs used to uh, give empathy statements to uh, sorry uh, statements and give and to give human touch oh fine okay so i will tell you here so uh, this is like you know customer they couldn't hear you properly okay uh, you are clicking this am i audible is that okay are you the decision maker can i speak to them please can you hear me say that again please no problem i'm sorry it's not like that i'm human fine guys you know these are all empathy tabs where uh, you know if the customer is asking you uh, am i speaking to a robot you know you have to click this button i'm human i'm human okay uh, to give more importance or little closeness uh, to the customer okay uh, if the customer is saying something and you couldn't hear it properly you are clicking this say that again please say that again please and the customer is telling something and uh, you know you you are telling like you know um, you 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 would like to click no problem that means like customer is telling i have a contract with my current service provider can i take this service you can click this no problem no, no problem. problem then you can go to the relevant prompt wherever uh, the prompt is okay fine now yellow color pink color these two are there so yellow color prompts okay this is very important but you are not going to use all these yellow color prompts in a single call you uh, these are all called as rebuttals okay uh, yellow color prompts are prompts which we can use only if the customer is asking you something which is little bit out of the promotions which you are going to dial for for example customer is asking you what is canada you are clicking greeting one it says like you know i'm calling from canadian telecom service customer is asking you what is canadian telecom service immediately you can click this we are the telecommunication company where we can provide the services in canada with the best prices fine so we are the canadian telecom service what is canadian telecom service we are the telecommunication service from canada where we are going to give you wonderful offers only Uh, with lowest rates okay that is what uh, it is trying to communicate to the customer okay canadian telecom service that is not the name of the company it is like uh, name which we are using to uh, speak with the customer we are going to dial for the company's name like short direct for television zflix for internet and home phone okay fine so likewise we will see about all these yellow color prompts only if the customer is asking you know i'm not seeing your number displayed on my screen i know definitely when you're dialing they can see the a number uh, but if the customer is telling in that way okay you will be clicking this button okay fine so yellow colors are rebuttals fine now again to pdf pink color to attract the customer let us see how it attracts the customer The best part is you will not be under any contract with our service. So there is no contract uh, when the customer is moving to our company, uh, Short Direct or Zflix. 
there is no contract they don't need to sign up any contract because you know if they are signing up the contract for 2 years you know they cannot leave out of the service only if they love our service they can stay in our service in that way we are giving the commitment to the customer so they are not going to sign up any contract with this customer will be very happy because it is selling point it is a key point to sell if there is no contract customer will be uh, feeling easy to move to our service uh, because you know already they might be in contract okay when they are in contract you know uh, if they are breaking the contract they might have to pay penalty 100 dollars 200 dollars based on the number of period uh, based on the period which is pending to them maybe 3 months or 6 months or 1 year pending okay uh, they have to pay uh, huge penalties uh, penalty to the previous service provider their current service provider okay uh but when we say we don't have any contract they will be attracted and the next one is i have a good news for you installation for the television and home phone are completely free so for the home phone and uh, television uh, you know fixing up the dth antennas these kind of uh, things and all completely free of cost customer they don't need to pay anything for the installation and all okay fine this is attractive uh, attracting the customer fine okay guys today you know we can end up the session uh, you know your human brain have the capacity of listening up to 45 minutes okay you can pass these uh, things and rewind the youtube video and you can listen to it okay already it is more than 50 minutes i'm just stopping here for today and uh, let us meet in the next uh, youtube video thank you guys